Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. That's my knowledge bar. And today we have to discuss regarding question number second one, which has recently appeared in question in annual exam 10th standard English question paper. That is, observe the relationship in the first pair of words and complete the series, which is meant for four marks. Question number first one is meant for six marks. And question number second one is meant for four marks and it is mandatory question. Whenever the exams are going to conduct at that time, question number second one, which is purely meant for analogy, it is mandatory, it has no option. Now, what the problem is given? Question number in serial seventh is there. The problem is given silence is standing for silent. Here is the combination of noun plus adjective now we have been given glory now we have to find out the adjective form of the noun as a glory so the adjective form of noun of the noun as a glory is glorious it is the adjective form of glory and silent is the adjective form of silence and silence is the noun form of silent whereas Glory is the noun form of glorious. In the same way, question number, next question. What is the next question? Here is the combination. I think you might have got clear that first problem is purely depending upon noun plus adjective. Now second one, what it is there? Second one problem, I mean eighth one in serial. Meet, meet, pray, watch. Now what it is there? Question number 8th one is purely meant for homophones. What are the homophones and how we have to find it out? And what does it mean analogy? Analogy ka matlab kya hai? Ki wa yek words ka dousre words ka kuch relation batata hai aur thodi similarity. Similarity according, along with that partial similarity or similarity is going to express such type of the words are supposed to be involved into analogy. Now, what is eighth one? Meet, meet, pray. What is meet, meet, meet? These are the pronunciation is same. Spelling is different and meaning is different. Such type of the words in English have been declared as a homophones. Aise kuch words hai, un words ki meaning alag hoti hai. उनकी स्पेलिंग अलग होती है लेकिन आर्टिकुलेट करते समय उनका आर्टिकुलेशन सेम होता है ऐसे वर्ड्स को होमोफोन्स कहा गया है फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वाज टोटली डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ नाउन प्लस एडजेक्टिव सेकंड वन इज टोटली टोटली इट इज होमोफोन्स इट मे बी नाउन इट मे बी वर्ब इट मे बी नाउन इट मे बी वर्ब एंड द कमिंग सीक्वेंस मे बी नाउन वी लिस्ट बॉदर रिगार्डिंग दैट what we have to think? We have to think regarding that the given problem is meant for only homophones so that we have to give such an option then that the pronunciation will be the same as it is given already. Meet, milna, meet, it's a flesh. Now pray, we are praying for God and another one, it is a pray in bird. Understand, pray for bird, it's a pray. So now, First question, the combination of noun and adjective. Second one is homophones. Now third one. What is third one? Already it is given. Menas. That menas stands for threat. Then agai stands for what? It is purely depending upon what problem in English. In opposite words and similar words. What is menas? What is threat? What is agai? Menas is standing for threat. What is what does it mean? That first one was the combination of noun plus adjective. Second one was it is homophones. And what these are? These are the synonyms. Synonyms, what are the synonyms? Synonyms are such type of the words in English which are going to express the same meaning. Menas, it means likely to be threat. And again, it means likely to be an active. So, in this way, 
three problems that we have completed, which are appeared in question number Roman second, that to in tenth standard English subject, that the first language. Now remember, my dears, first one. It is a combination of noun plus adjective, second one homophones and third ones. What I told you recently, I told you these are the synonyms. Synonyms the same meaning. And what is last one? Last one is antonym. Why it is antonyms? It is going to express the meaning of opposite meaning. How it is? Happiness is standing for misery. Khushiya ya dukhon ke liye ek stand hoti hai. या खुशियों के लिए दुख स्टैंड हो रहा है सुख है गम है कभी खुशी है कभी गम है यानी कि हैप्पीनेस खुशी है मिजरी दुख का सागर है अंडरस्टैंड सो हैप्पीनेस मिजरी देन अराइवल आपका आना अराइवल है अराइवल अराइवल द अपोजिट ऑफ अपोजिट वर्ड ऑफ हैप्पीनेस इज मिजरी देन द अपोजिट ऑफ अराइवल इज डिपार्चर Arrival, the opposite of arrival is departure. So, what are these? These are the analogies, and these are the words which have been given to you to find out the real answers of the given such type of the words. It means that relationship in the first pair of words. What is the relationship that we have to see in first pair? What is first pair? Silent and silence. Me time, me, menace and threat, happiness and misery. This is the first pair. These are the first pairs of the words. Now, second, second one, how you have to complete? Second one, it is given that we have to find out. We have to search it. And after searching, definitely you will get it. Already I told you, what I told you? Combination of noun and adjective, glory is noun. So what is the adjective form of glory? Glorious. Then meet, meet, homophones. Homophones are such type of the words in English which are spelt differently, which are meant differently, but which are pronounced in same way. Homophones, meet, meet, pray, pray. Now, menas, threat, agai, active. Happiness, misery, arrival, departure. Arrival, ana hai, departure, jana hai. So guys, I think you might have understood in very, very clear way, the question number second one, that to in board exam, annual board exam or annual exams 10th standard first language english near about question number first one i made you understood i made you understand in last week now just i have explained question number second one that is roman second that is observe the relationship of the first two pair of the words and complete the series and if you have written like this the answer First one's answer glorious, second one's answer pray, third one's answer active, and fourth one's answer departure. Definitely, your four marks are fixed. They are just like a fixed deposit. So guys, if you like my video, like it. Do not forget to subscribe it so that I can reach first of all up to you. Let's enjoy.